6, a new bill in Washington would make it would make voting easier for some people in the state's jail system. Fox's Joe Bathiathil joins us now in the studio with this story. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Kim. Yeah, so last year, the state restored voting rights to people released from prison. That was thanks to a bill introduced by state representative Tara Simmons. Now, more than a decade ago, Simmons served time in prison for a drug charge. But since then, she became a lawyer, then an elected official, and she's behind a new push to expand voting for people in jails. She argues that the majority of people in county jails have not been uh, yet convicted of actual crimes, and many are still, though, denied their right to vote because they are locked up during the time of an election. Well, this new bill would require jails to provide inmates with voter registration information, as well as access to a ballot at least 18 days before an election. Under this legislation, each county auditor's office would also have to designate a jail voting coordinator. They would work with jails and the Secretary of State's office to create a voting plan at each jail. Jails would also have to allow election officials to enter the jail at least 30 days before each election for voter outreach and education. And on top of that, jails would be required to document all voting related requests and complaints, and they would have to collect data on voter registration and ballot returns. Now, lawmakers in a House committee will consider this new bill tomorrow morning. And again, the state has already restored voting rights to people who have been convicted of felonies as long as they have completed their sentences. That went into effect at the beginning of this year. Kim and Shauna, back to you.